What's up, everybody? I picked up another 3A to cards. Homie co released uh, Microman String Diver. This one is Dante uh, um, SD03. And yeah, stoked to get him as always because, um, like you all know, I love, love me some Microman big time. And uh, here's a look at the back of the card. Very nice card, very thick card as usual. And uh, yeah, let's get him open and check him out. Cool. And we have them out. So let's uh, pop this card over here. Alright, cool. Let's check this dude out. Pretty cool. Looks pretty much just like the other uh, string diver that I have. Which I already forgot his name. Duh. Jeez, where is that? Yeah, that was Sam. So we have Sam and Dante now. And yeah. Very cool. They pretty much look the same. They have like pretty much the same kind of hairdo. Doesn't look anything uh, different. It might be the same. We'll, we'll check that out in a bit. Got the, um, looks like this one has a different, uh, different belt little knife strap or whatever but yeah pretty much the same gear all around pretty much let me stand Dante up nope. all right let me see let's see if I can get his mask on because that's the one thing about these figures the masks are pretty tricky they don't they plug in a hole in the bottom of the chin, and uh, yeah, you really got to work them in there. Yeah, cool. Oh, so my only gripe on these figures is that that little little peg doesn't want to stick too well, and these do pop off. see try to fix that again well oh, that wanted to come off plugs right in there all right cool but yeah that's the one pain in the butt about these is that the, this little peg is just a pain to get in there but yeah I got it in cool and like the other one, you got like probably about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Probably has, I think this figure probably all around has like about 22 points of articulation. I think they all do pretty much. I could be right, I could be wrong, 14 to 22, I think. Oh, but yeah, that part wants to fall out a lot, which isn't a big deal. And then you have these pouches that open up, which uh, have little, uh, like little electronics or like respirator gears that pop out and stuff. Uh, they're not easy to get out because they're rubber, so they kind of stick pretty well in there. Oh, geez. But yeah, they do pop out. It's like a little electronic kind of device that pops in there. Like so. And it closes to the peg. If I can get it. But yeah, it's pretty cool all the way around. And these pop out too. Let me pop out chest piece. But yeah, these come out too, but these seem like be more a pain in the butt to get out, so I'll just leave them in there. It's not that big a deal. But yeah, you've got Matt. Ooh. 
We've got a... Yeah, and the feet do pop out too, obviously. But um, it has mad pouches, like Boba Fett style pouches, which are crazy. And uh, rip the hose off so I get that back in there. But yeah, all around these are really cool figures. I like them. As far as like hooking them up with some custom weapons, that's yet to be done. It would be cool to do that though. Wouldn't hurt. Let me get it out of the way. And here's his other buddy, Sam. Which, yeah, so far these guys kind of have the same hairdos, pretty much. That's what it looks like to me. Doesn't look too different. But I think the cloth outfits are pretty cool. I think back in the day, I would have dug these because I always liked playing with my figures in the water and stuff. And these guys, you know, look just like scuba divers. So, yeah, I would have totally loved that. But, yeah, these guys are cool. And, um, and to compare with, uh, you got, these are the old school. I think this might be a Mego. Not a Takara, I'm not quite sure. Um, Microman, so it's about size comparison. And yeah, pretty much if you look at the ankles, um, you got like the same kind of design, pretty much. Not too far different. But um, they're not the barefoot versions or whatever that I do have that are kind of a knockoff version of. I'm fucking find them right here, but yeah. Like these guys, the barefoot versions, but not as cool and not as posable at all, and no uh, vac metal um, noggin. And on this one, um, yeah, the vac metal is like com almost completely worn off. But yeah, I love Microman, and like I said before uh, on another video, I believe too that this is. I'm trying to look for the copyright on this. But Hong Kong, yeah, this is Amigo. This is Amigo version, not a Takara. I think I might have a Takara one. I'm not sure. But anyhow, yeah, this is the 40th anniversary year for um for Microman, and uh, I'm stoked that they've come out with some stuff. I really, really am. Uh, it's it's nice to have new Microman stuff. It'd be cool if they did some uh if they're listening to Car Tommy if they did some three inch figures again that would be cool but so far you've got the um these four inch and you've got the the six inch guys which are awesome and uh so you can't complain this isn't a bad year for microman really it's really really not and um and yeah it's just i don't know these are neat these are super super neat and these are worth uh worth photographing big time they look cool and, they're, and the posability is just ridiculous. Because uh, they do cool karate poses. Yeah, they're just, I don't know, they're just very nice figures. Pretty well made, too, I might say. Let me see. But yeah, very sick. But yeah, the posability is just awesome. It's really, really ridiculous. Very, very cool. And I kind of want to get the whole wave. These are pretty expensive. These are about 30, 40 bucks at that big bad toy store. And I'm sure through the 3A, you might be able to get them online through their store too. But um, but I haven't tried that. I've just been getting through a uh, big bad toy store. But yeah, these are just really, really neat. Very, very artsy fartsy figures. Very, very cool. And there's a look again at the respirator piece. Which I guess if you wanted to, 
You might be able to glue in or glue on if you want her to stay in. They're not, they're not the biggest problem. They do stay in, you know, but, uh, or do you stay plugged? But they're kind of a pain in the butt, too. And, um, and much like the older figures, you have, uh, oop, you're able to, um, pop off those pieces. Like this guy. Pop that right off. As I've displayed before. And I'll do it again. It's going to be a proper review if you didn't do that. And yeah, it's just a weird little time traveler dial kind of thing that he's got on there. Some kind of meter. But yeah, it's cool and shiny. And it looks like pretty much the same piece that uh, that Sam has and stuff. But um, but I also, one thing I dig about these two that looks really cool is the M, this like kind of cut off M right there on the logo. That is pretty neat. Pretty, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much a look at these guys. Glad to get another set or another figure and um yeah if you like these guys i suggest going out there and getting them because I really recommend them they're very cool and um yeah i want to try to do some more videos on these guys and uh check them out just a little bit more all right well once again thanks for watching um especially with all the with all the fidgeting and jumbling of these figures um appreciate it and uh yeah more reviews and stuff on the way thanks